I got a fresh cut. Jacques, you look like you got a fresh cut somewhat recently. Semi recently. Yeah. We're going to tractor supply because I did an impulse decision. <laughs> I decided I'm raising my chickens for from chicks. I didn't think I was going to. So six chickens are coming in T minus three days. I need to go get supplies right now. I'm gonna walk you through the process. Here we are. First up on the list, we gotta get the heater and brooder because we gotta keep our chicks warm. So this can do both, right? Yeah. You can do it either way. That's Set like, it down. So that when they're like little baby chicks. Yeah, they, like they huddle under. And they go right under yeah. And they can't get burned by this, which is why it's better than a lamp. Better than a lamp. So we're getting the producer's pride. Let's get that. We got pine shavings. Seems to be fine. I know that uh, Matt talks a lot about the hemp, yeah, but for baby chickens, it's probably, it's probably fine. I kind of like the names of these. Producer's Pride, Flock Party, we're vibing. <laughs> All right, well, no luck here. We have the shavings and we have the heater, and that's it. <laughs> they have no small feeder, no small water, and no actual brooding pen, which for sure is the most critical piece. I know you could obviously just like put them in a tub, yeah. but I'm trying to do it legit so we're gonna go to this random feed store that you saw down the street yep. see if we can find something fingers crossed see you in a second we have made it to destination number two ranch feed and pet supply weirdly the only thing they don't mention are chickens but i know for a fact they have chickens here so let's get on in here so we found a little feeder which this should be good i think and then there are waterers here but we could also use something like this where you get these cups they come out, maybe there's a little bit less mess. Jacques saying that sometimes they'll click kick shavings in here, it's just a mess to clean up. So just kind of deciding here is like a million options, a little overwhelming. This is what we came up with. This is just a stock tank, which really anything that just contains them is fine. They were keeping them in there. And we got these little feeders and waterers. Honestly, I feel like there's a better solution for this product. I think there's yeah. a better product that could exist here, but this is what exists right now. We've got our shavings, we've got our heat. We should be good to go. I need to clean up this sloppy laundry room, but we have everything we need to create the ultimate chicken brooding experience. I'm gonna put this together. The chickens are coming, the chicks are coming in two days. So in two days, I will see you guys for the delivery of the epic chickens. They're here, guys. Oh my God. Look, look at these guys, girls. Oh, so cute. Oh, look at this. So cute. Renee is here from Hi. Backyard Chickies. Backyard Chickies. Dot com. Yes. And who do we have here? So these are two of your precious little ones. Oh this my god. This one's the Rhode Island Red. Oh yeah. And this one's a gold lace twine dot. Oh. And take over here. Tiny little guys in our brooder setup. Put them right next to We're the just food. just gonna put them right up here so that they can see what's happening. Oh my God. I think I see the buff right in the middle there. That's the buff. This one's your silver lace. Okay. And then this one's your cream leg bar. I'm excited about um, that. I'm excited about her. Her eggs are so beautiful. Yeah. So this one's the silver mm -hmm. versus your gold right there. Oh my god. As gosh. they get a little older, it's much easier to yeah, tell the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that buff is so your cute. Buff. What a cute little girl. And then your cream leg bar. Oh. It always looks like a little chipmunk. Yeah. And they're all huddling up together trying to stay warm. Yes. Thank you, Renee. <laughs> You're I welcome. appreciate it. I'm Enjoy super excited. Your new little chickies. We will. We will. See what I mean? They're already up here on the rafters. So this is our buff Orpington. This is Butta. Butta has become the fattest chicken of the bunch. She has really lived up to her name. Orpingtons are pretty large in general and Butta has really started to size compared to the rest of them. Just look at how fluffy she is. She absolutely loves to come up and hang out on this little railing here. Perch, get a little air, a little hang time. So that's the buff Orpington. We have the cream leg bar. So this one is not a breed I thought I would get, but it was available at the time. And oh, look at that. And um, you know, she's been great. I think she's sort of the most chill, the most inquisitive of the bunch. She kind of likes to hang out and run around and just kind of keeps to herself a little bit. Over here, this is the Rhode Island Red. This one has probably the most beautiful feathers, but I've been told by Jacques that actually I shouldn't expect that feather pattern to stay, which is unfortunate. Nevertheless, very, very pretty little chicken. Then we have our gold laced Wyandotte, who I have named Gucci. So only two of these have names, and I'm definitely welcome and open to more names in the in the comments here. But this is Gucci. Gucci is for sure, so far at least, the alpha female 
of the bunch. She's also the most chill, so she likes to just kind of sit on your hands like this. She's very comfortable being up high. Really just likes to kind of hang out. Very comfortable with a person. I've been holding them a lot since they came over here. They were only about three days old when I got them. Over here is the silver laced Wyandotte. No name yet, but very similar personality. Very inquisitive, wants to jump around, wants to fly around, very independent and very beautiful. You can see the silver is right there on the wing. And with Gucci, the gold is on the wing right there. This loud little girl over here though is our new one in the bunch. This is Lavender, at least that's what I'm calling her right now, but it's a Lavender Orpington. So she's the youngest. I got her just a little bit later. And I honestly think she might have the most beautiful coloring of any of the little chickies that I've found. She's very, 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 very inquisitive. She wants to jump and fly around much more so than the other ones when they were young. But I think, just think she's so pretty and she's so young and cute. So I'm very much, I mean, I can't say this in front of them, but if you know what I'm saying, she might be one of my faves. But I mean, look look how they're acting. They, they really like jumping around and playing around. <laughs> it's been really fun to have them in here. So as I've raised the chickies, um, you know, I was a little afraid of the time commitment it might take, because obviously running Epic is pretty time intensive and I didn't want to, you know, be responsible for six little lives if I wasn't able to do a good job. But I've actually found it's been pretty simple. So I'm gonna walk you through the setup that I have here and how this has played out and a bunch of little micro adaptations that I've made to make this work out for me. So in our trough setup, I added this screen because, and you'll see this happen, the second I take it off, they will try to jump out. They will try to fly as they were born to do. So first of all, the watering system has been really nice. Also the feeding system has been, I would say, okay. I mean, they, they really do like to kick up all the food. You can see it's kind of strewn about. So I have to fill this up probably once every 30-ish hours or so. I put it up on these little blocks here because they really tend to kick the shavings both into their food and into their water trough. And they also tend to poop in their food and their water. So I ended up putting it up just like this. That, that tended to work out pretty well. This little heater here, this is that Producer's Pride Brooder Heater. It's been really good. I ended up putting it at an angle. So the lowest one right here and then the highest one right here. And that's so. If you're a different age chicky, you can hide in a different spot of it. So you can get really close down here if you're young and you need a lot of heat. And as you get older or bigger, then you can come over here. So I've noticed that the older ones, like Butta over here, likes to hang out right here. Whereas little Lavender over here tends to want to be closer towards here. A lot of people told me that these pine shavings weren't good. Honestly, they've been completely fine. I haven't really had any problems with that at all. For a while, I was covering the top of this because of course they're gonna poop all over it. I ran out of these little doggy wipes that I had on here. So I just wash this off every so often. I put a couple logs from the yard in here. They're probably buried right now with poop and shavings. But I just kind of put something on here to kind of help, help them maybe get established and learn how to nest and roost with their claws. I don't know if that's really working or not, but honestly, besides just this overall setup, it's been really easy. I think the, the one thing that I've added is I'll add shavings from time to time. I have some mealworms there that I've started to feed them. And then the food that I've been using is this Grubly Farms Little Pex Crumbles, which is a chick level food. So I think maybe it's just smaller or there's something in it. Uh, but it's been working out really well. So this is life in the first couple weeks of having and raising little chickens. I expect that I'll be able to put them out in the Carolina coop in maybe two or three more weeks. They just need to be fully feathered. So some of them are, I would say, getting about a week, two weeks away, and temperatures are pretty warm here right now. But if you have any names, suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. There's actually a lot more to come on chicken care here on Epic Homesteading. Sorry it's been a while on videos. Things have been a little bit crazy here, but I promise the cadence is gonna get a little bit better soon. So stay tuned. Names down in the comments. Take care, good luck in the garden, and keep on growing.